Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It is nine o'clock and it's time for a Hidden Gems. Now, this is where I take a trick or a product or a release or something from a DVD set or an online lecture and I highlight it and bring it to your attention. I love doing these videos. For me, this is what Magic TV is all about. We stand on the shoulders of giants. The best tricks that I perform in my act are the tricks that were created 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years ago. They are not generally the tricks that have only just come out. Yes, there's some amazing tricks that are released on almost a daily basis, but if you want something unique and different, something that people haven't seen before, look to the past. You know, so many new people are coming into magic on a daily basis and they miss a lot of the tricks that came out years ago. And a perfect example of this is what we're about to look at today, because today is a release from the 19, oh, not from 1914, they're very much alive. Today is a release from Full 52. So Full 52, who are they? Well, Full 52 was a production company by uh, run and operated and founded by Dave Forrest. Now, Dave Forrest was one of the best close-up magicians and creators of close-up magic in the UK. He had literally traveled the world performing uh, his own unique creations. Um, and he has literally spanned genres. Some of the best tricks of all time came out as a result of Dave Forrest and Full 52. The Tech Deck, Color Burn, The Holes Project, I could go on. Now, unfortunately, a few years ago, Dave Forrest ended up um, doing a Kickstarter. Back when Kickstarter was very young, he did a Kickstarter project on something called Cubism. Uh, he'd bought Cubism out before as a chop cup. It was a chop cup that was designed to look like a um, uh, sort of a dice cup. It was very, very popular. And he bought out a version of Cubism, but with three cups. Two of them were ungimmicked. One of them was gimmicked. It came with all of the dice. It came with absolutely everything. He launched a Kickstarter to get it funded. It was funded, and then unfortunately, it was never fulfilled. Uh, he never delivered the product. Now, I believe that there's people that have started receiving their products many, many years later, but a lot of people never received their products. They never got what they paid for. Not only that, he was going on Facebook and he was going on the Magic Cafe, um, basically promising that it was coming next month and it's coming the month after, coming up with an excuse after excuse and it never happened. So because of that, the magic community turned their back on him. Now, I understand why the magic community did that. I totally get it. A lot of people lost a lot of money, but Dave Forrest was one of the best creators of magic in the world. I'm hoping that at some point he comes back to magic because uh, he was an incredible magician and creator. Anyway, that gives you a bit of context. What we have today is one of the tricks that Full 52 bought out. Now, Full 52 as a production company worked with some huge names, people like Chris Congre, people like Gary Jones, to name just a few. And one particular project that they did quite a few of are the Automina DVDs, which was like self-working or semi-self-working or semi-automatic magic. One in particular had a routine on it by Gary Jones called Metal Sheep. Now, Metal Sheep was Gary's version of the Thieves and Sheep routine, which came out many, many years ago. I think that first appeared in Bobo's. Uh, Gary's version was much, much better on so many different levels. Uh, off the back of the success of that project, um, and I think Fire Cups was on that as well, which was a kind of an automatic uh, cups and balls routine, um, Dave Forrest and Gary Jones through Full 52 brought out something called uh, Ammo. Now, Ammo was a project of routines with gimmicked poker chips. And um, one of the routines that was on the project was Gary's metal sheep routine. But instead of using coins, he was using poker chips. That's the routine that you're going to see right now. That's a long backstory, but I wanted you to have the full backstory uh, because if you want to get this, Full 52 doesn't exist anymore. So you're looking for Metal Sheep by Gary Jones. Now, the, uh, the ammo project still comes up from time to time on second-hand groups. Uh, so does Automina. Um, but I think that Gary Jones might have actually published the Metal Sheep routine in one of his books or possibly the book he did with Chris Congreve. It'd be worthwhile you guys checking into that. But this is a great trick. This is a really super commercial trick. Uh, you're going to see why now, because I'm going to show you a full performance to Matt. I'm not gambling with you. You shouldn't do it. I come with a public service announcement when it comes to playing uh, cards or poker or anything like that. <coughs> For many, many reasons, I'd have thought. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, these are worth five. These are worth a thousand. The pink ones are more expensive than the green ones, but I've got seven altogether. So 5,010 in value, right? Yes. This is a demonstration in sleight of hand. 
the green poker chips go here, one in each hand. And then I'm going to put the poker chips into my hands as well. Look, make sure I'm not cheating. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to try and make the pink poker chips come together. You ready? Okay. Demonstration in sight of hand. You saw me put them in different hands, yeah? Mm -hmm. Watch. <laughs> what do you reckon? Hang on. That's genius. You impressed? It might must have taken forever to learn. I mean, it did. I mean, I haven't done anything yet. I'm just winding you up. But I mean, it would have been good if I, I haven't done anything yet. I'm going to do it now. Okay. You ready? I wanted to show you that I haven't done anything. Because every single time I do this, people say, Craig, you're using sleight of hand. And that sort of thing is sleight of hand. I'm not going to use sleight of hand. Watch. One goes here. 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 There's an invisible line in the middle of this mat. And my hands will not cross it. And yet the pink ones will go together. Are you ready? <sighs> Done. Okay. And now I make them go back again. <laughs> no. Genius. It's good, isn't it? It's very good. No, in all seriousness, I have done it. You see, over here we have the green ones. Over here we have the pink ones. A demonstration in sleight of hand. Huh? What the fuck? Yep. I need to see that again. We're learning that for the match of entry. Are we really? Yes, we are. I can't do that. Yes, you can. No, because there's a rule in magic. There's a rule in magic. You probably aren't aware of this because you haven't been in magic long. There's a rule in magic that if you're a professional magician in the UK, you have to at least do one Gary Jones trick in your act. Right. If you don't, they'll take you out back and shoot you behind the magic circle. Wow. So, you know, you have wow. to. We have to teach you. I don't want you to be shot, so you have to learn this. So that is a performance of the metal sheet routine. Now, I love this trick. And um, one of the reasons I love it so much is because it's completely self-working. It's very rare to get a self-working trick like this. But this is completely self-working. There's no palming. It works itself. Uh, and it feels like everything's examinable. It's not. There's a couple of things that aren't examinable. But you can switch a cup, the couple of bits that need to be switched. You can switch at the end if you want to, to make it examinable. But to be honest, nobody really wants to examine it because it looks exactly like it's meant to look like. Now, at the moment, I'm actually doing the match mentor. I'm teaching Matt how to do magic. This is a routine that I want to teach him. And the reason I do is because when you first start doing close-up magic, it's really important to have a bit of an eclectic range of material. And one of the things that you want to be able to do is do visual magic. Um, I think it's really important, unless you're going down the route of being a mentalist, I think it's really important to do visual magic. Now, this allows you to do visual magic, but without needing to learn palming, without needing to use a coin vanish. And honestly, if I, if I said to you, this routine requires no palming, you probably wouldn't believe me, but it's absolutely 100% true. It's completely self-working and it has such an impact. It's a really strong version of the coins across plot, but without any palming. And the poker chips really kind of give it an interesting hook as well. So I'm, I'm teaching this to Matt so he can include it in his performance as part of the match entry. Um, it's a really strong trick. It really is. You don't need a table. You can do it in the spectator's hands. But to be honest, I do like it when there's a table. But you don't need a table mat. Um, it's very easy to focus on. It opens itself up to a lot of different presentations. The original version of this that appeared many, many years ago, the presentation was about thieves and sheep and how two thieves were allowed to stay over in uh, barns overnight by a farmer and they stole the sheep and then they put the sheep back in this field and they stole them again. So you can go down the route of doing a presentation to this if you want to, or you can do what I just did to Matt and just do it as literally a, a demonstration in sleight of hand. It's up to you. Whichever way you go this is the perfect perfect example of a routine that is absolutely a hidden gem this is the sort of thing that you don't see hardly anyone else doing 
but it is a really strong routine that hits and hits hard and has a real strong impact on an audience. So if you want to do something like this and you don't have, uh, you know, and you, you want to learn it, just look up Metal Sheep by Gary Jones. It's an incredible routine. So there you go, guys. That's another hidden gems in the bag. Do me a favor. Let me know, know what you think in the comments down below. You want to see more videos like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel. And don't forget, if you want to join the Netflix, you can do so by going to www.thenetrix.com. That's www.thenetrix.com. You can go and get access immediately and see what all the fuss is about uh, and why we've got all my, well lots and lots of people have joined up to the metrics and we have a 0.06% uh, cancellation rate because even though you can cancel any time pretty much nobody wants to I'll see you again soon thanks very much for watching my name's Craig from Magic TV mm -hmm.